welcome to Ag PhD. I'm Darren Hefty. And I'm Brian Hefty. Thanks for joining us today. Today on the show, we're going to talk a little about soil testing. I know it's the middle of the summer and you might not be thinking about this yet or even be ready to think about it yet. But the reason why we want to talk about it now is we want you to start getting your mind around, wrapping your mind around, hey, maybe I should do something a little bit different for soil testing going into next year. Maybe I need to do a little more, test some different micronutrients, whatever it would happen to be. We'll talk through some of your options today. This is incredibly important as commodity prices aren't what they were three years ago. So we've got to focus on every last dollar we're investing on the farm so we can maximize that investment. Well, speaking about that, when we're looking at getting great yields next year, we have to protect our soils and our fields until we get to that point. Cover crops may be a great way for you to bridge that gap, conserving moisture and making more nutrients available for your crop. We'll talk about many more benefits you could get from cover crops on today's show. We've got a weed of the week that doesn't affect every corn and soybean field in the country, but it is one of the most challenging weeds in the United States today. We'll show you how to control it on your farm later in the show, but first, here's this week's Farm Basics. Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about one of the most important tools on the farm. It's the sweep net. I was just a little nervous there. I thought it was something to attack me with out in the field, but you know, when you look at a, a sweep net, it, it doesn't cost much money to get. And you certainly see crop scouts out and crop consultants out using sweep nets. So why aren't you using one on your farm? It's one of those tools that for whatever it may cost, $20 or so, you can learn exactly what's going on in your field just by making a couple of sweeps. And many times we get focused on the one big bug that's out in our field. Maybe it's Japanese beetle, maybe it's soybean aphid, maybe it's corn rootworm beetle. Depending on what crop you're in, there's probably one bug that you're saying, boy, I have to go keep an eye on my field to make sure I don't have that. But as you're sweeping around, you can look what's in the sweep net and I would bet almost every time you're gonna see several different species of bugs. Take a look at those bugs and identify them and figure out, hey, is that one that's gonna cause me problems? Is that a beneficial bug? Is it one I should be concerned about? Because many times you may be looking for a certain threshold out in the field of, well, I need this many Japanese beetles and then I need to treat. But if you're also seeing, wow, I've also got some grasshoppers. I also have some soybean aphids. I also have some bean leaf beetles. All of a sudden that may adjust your threshold a little bit. One of the things entomologists have done now because they know a lot of crop scouts and farmers are using sweep nets today is they have economic thresholds based on sweeps with the sweep net. So if you sweep through 10 times and you find a certain number of bugs, they'll have a threshold level. So there's a difference between just a regular threshold and economic threshold. Economics is where you throw the dollars and cents into the whole mix. So in other words, how much is it going to cost you to treat? How much is your crop worth? How much in terms of dollars are you going to lose in yield. So once you figure out all the dollars and put that into the threshold, then you got to determine whether or not you're going to pull the trigger and spray on your farm. But this is an incredibly helpful tool, doesn't cost much money, simple and easy to use. And like we always make the joke, there's a right-handed model and a left-handed model. So anybody on the farm can use one of these sweep nets. It's something that we strongly encourage you to get for your operation. I think it's an awesome educational tool for young people as well. When you think about it, as your kids want to get into farming, hey, what are they going to add to the operation? Many times it ends up being scouting. Now here's a great tool for your child to go out in the field. Hey, let's run the sweep net a little bit. Now let's look at these bugs and let's identify each different one. And let's talk about, hey, what do they do to my crop? And when do I need to look for them and so forth? So there's so many ways on your farm to get young people involved and get that love of agriculture in them too. And also a knowledge of your business. A sweep net is one of those tools that can really help you. It definitely will help you, but it's not going to make much difference when you're scouting for our weed of the week. We'll tell you how to identify and control this weed coming up later in the show. Your time is valuable. That's why you need a Hagee STS application system. Hagee STS products are designed for precision and efficiency, allowing you to make applications all season long with just one machine. Contact your Hagee rep today. 
What if instead of running test plots on 10 acres, you could test on 10,000? With Farmers Business Network, the world becomes your plot trial. FBN is the independent farmer-to-farmer -farmer agronomic network. FBN connects real data from tens of thousands of fields and provides you trusted analysis on hundreds of seeds, practices, and field performance to maximize your profits. Find out how your field seeds and practices compare today by joining the FBN community at FarmersBusinessNetwork.com. Just $500 per year for unlimited acres. When you need one machine that can do it all, you send in a Spartan, your all-in-one forage solution from Capello USA. This direct cutting system is the right machine for almost any forage crop and gets everything done in a single pass. Keeps your cost down. Always versatile. The Spartan can be configured to fit any self-propelled forage harvester in the world. So, no matter what you forage, send in a Spartan from Capello USA. Italian craftsmanship, American grit. A farmer's attention to detail is what makes the difference. You take the time for service management because you know how vital it is to your operation. You service your field like everything else because soil sampling makes all the difference and gets the results you want. Download the app Soil Test Pro and start grid sampling today. Keep your farm growing strong. The more you test, the more you know. With the success of the Case IH Tiger Quad Track and Magnum Road Track tractors, it's no secret why Case IH is the leader of the track. So it wasn't surprising when the competition started imitating us. But only Case IH offers a five axle design to give you a smoother ride, more power to the ground, with less berming and compaction. Still, we're flattered. In fact, if we weren't already red, <laughs> we'd be blushing. Regalia RX Biofungicide activates a plant's natural defense system, limiting the effects of disease and improving overall plant health. Regalia RX complements your fungicide program to optimize yield and strengthen return on investment. Ask your retailer for Regalia RX today. What are you doing for a soil test program on your farm? Hey, this is a really big issue as we go forward. We gotta pay attention to every last dollar we're investing on the farm. And you know what? I don't mind spending more dollars on the farm as long as it's an investment. Is it going to pay to put more nitrogen on, more phosphorus, more potassium, more sulfur, or boron, or whatever it is? Well, how are you gonna know unless you find out what your soil's got? You know, the biggest two expenses on most farms are cash rent and fertilizer. And when you think about it, the soil testing program helps you manage both. I've talked to a number of farmers over the last couple of years here as the economics have changed in farming that have said, you know, I gave up certain pieces of rented ground where I wasn't making any money. And I said, well, how did you determine which pieces of ground you were going to give up? Were they the furthest ones away from your farm? Or what else did you look at? And I said, well, the big thing was fertility. When we looked at what the fertility was and what I was going to need to put on those certain fields to bring them up to par with everything else, they just weren't going to cut it. There's no way I was going to make money on that ground. So I'm going to let somebody else rent that out and lose money on it. In the meantime, I'm going to keep the good ground where I don't have to apply all that extra fertilizer to make up for deficiencies in the past. And on that ground, I can make more money. Well, by the same token, even on ground that you own, you can certainly manage your investments much better if you understand that fertility. And so what I'm talking about here is either grid sampling or a managed zone sampling program to look at different areas of the field so you can fertilize them accordingly. Knowing this has been a big challenge for farmers across the country, last year we developed the Ag PhD soil test app and what it allows you to do is use your smartphone to go out to grid points and pull soil samples. Now it's super simple and easy and you can pull these samples by hand. And don't think, oh I have to have some mechanized way to pull samples. You know what, most crop scouts in the country are just pulling samples by hand. It's very quick and easy. You can sample even up to a thousand acres a day on five acre grids. It's not that tough. The other thing you're going to want to do with this Ag PhD soil test app is set up your fields. Real simple to do. You can do that yet this summer so you're ready to go come fall. And that's the reason why we're talking about this today because you want to get all ready to go. Have your, your probe have your fields all mapped out, decide which fields you're going to sample. So once harvest rolls around, you're probably gonna have only a handful of days where you say, you know what, I'm gonna take today or I'm gonna send my kids out today. We're gonna get samples on all these fields so I can have the results later in the week and then I can tell my fertilizer dealer, this is what we wanna use for the fertilizer program. The reason why we developed this is we wanna put you in control of things. Cause just think about this for a second. The odds are extremely high if you're farming any amount of 
acres anymore. Over your lifetime of farming, you're gonna be spending in the millions of dollars in fertilizer. So if you're gonna spend millions of dollars in anything, shouldn't you be the one who's in control of that? We want you to pull the tests, you to get the results, and you'll get our recommendations and Midwest Labs recommendations, but the point is, you've got all this data yourself. So nobody else is in control of it, you know it, you're going to learn it, and you'll then be able to make your own fertilizer recommendations, or at least contribute, so hopefully you best invest your dollars compared to in the past where you might just say, well, I, Mr. Fertilizer Dealer, you just decide what I'm gonna put on. Well, do they really know? Are they doing exactly what you need on every acre? I don't know, maybe they are, but in a lot of cases what we find is, Fertility programs today are inadequate and there's a better way to invest those dollars to make more money. I'll give you one example of that. Many of the soil tests that Brian and I have looked at across the country, and we look at soil tests every week of the year, we get soil tests sent to us from somewhere in the country on some different crop. And we're looking at many of these tests, I would say at least half of them, if not more, are incomplete tests. They don't even have micronutrients, for example, on the test. And we follow up with the farmer and say, hey, we don't even have micronutrients on here. You know, where are those levels at? And most guys say, I've never tested for them. And doesn't that cost a whole bunch more? Really, it doesn't. Soil samples are not that tremendously expensive. And to get a complete test, you're gonna spend 25 or $30. That's it for everything that we would need for information to make a great recommendation for your farm or that you would need to make your own recommendation for your farm. So as we get guys into taking complete tests, many people are alarmed that, wow, you know what? I'm actually sitting pretty good on phosphorus and potassium compared to how I am on some of these micro nutrients or sulfur and wow if I just invest some dollars over here instead of where I would normally be putting it that may be a little bit wasteful if I already have plenty of those nutrients I'm getting more yield and I'm investing less money it's a pretty fantastic deal so when we're looking at better surveying your fields not just pulling one sample per hundred acres or 500 acres or whatever pulling samples all over throughout the field and then looking at a complete sample so we can see all the different nutrients that our crops need and which ones may give us the best return on investment that's a much better way to manage your program to maximize your profitability. So we developed this free app that you can use last year. Again, it's the Ag PhD Soil Test app. You can download that for your smartphone or your tablet. We just think it's important to continue putting out good information for you. Hopefully we're meeting your needs, both with our TV show and our radio show, but then also some of these different apps that we've put together. And our main goal is for you to hopefully produce more crop, make more money, and then do a good job with the environment. And this definitely fits in all those categories if you have the right fertility program. Uh, one last thing, Brian encourages hey, let's do this right now. And I totally agree with that. Start right now, setting up those fields and getting everything set. So when it is time to sample, you can just roll. Because what happens many times is, hey, there's a deal on fertilizer in July or in August and your dealer wants you to prepay and pre-book things and you just go ahead and do it. And you say, you know what? I did this program last year. The economics have changed a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna do 90% of what I did last year because I don't think I can afford it. Or, hey, I'm really shooting for high yields. We've gotten some rain or, or whatever in our area. So let's go 100 110% what I did last year, that's not the right thing for you. You need to take a look each year and see, hey, what's out in the soil? How can I tweak that to maximize yield this year? And hey, let's be honest. I mean, these fertilizer companies aren't going to dramatically take fertilizer prices up unless commodity prices go way up. But if commodity prices stay where they're at today or go down, you're going to see fertilizer continuing to at least stay flat, if not drop, over the next several months or even next couple of years. So there's no huge rush this year to buy fertilizer again unless commodity prices would go up. Well, one thing you may get excited excited about doing right away is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. I wish I could side dress more than just nitrogen. You can. While side dressing is efficient for nitrogen applications, you can also use that opportunity to apply PK and the micronutrients your crop needs. AgroLiquids Calibrate and MicroLink products allow you to nutritionally balance your side dress application efficiently and economically. Let Agriculture Liquid Fertilizer help you make your next crop a bumper crop. For more info, visit agroliquid.com. Working in agriculture over the past three decades, I saw a need for an accurate way to apply dry product to seed. That's where our Changing Times applicators come in. The CT applicator brush sifts powder into small particles resulting in proper distribution. Quantities can be adjusted by the speed of the brush rotation. This allows for even and accurate distribution of product. Application at the time of planting can be used with any seed delivery system and saves farmers time, labor, and money. Remember, CT applicators for the Changing Times. 
Precision in grain moisture management can save you thousands in spoilage and elevator docks. The AgriDry Bullseye Controller monitors temperature and grain moisture and is available for all dryer makes and models. Plus, our AD Link feature gives you 24 7 remote monitoring and allows you to control your dryer wherever you are. Call us today for more information. Dry load store, 1855 Wake up, breakfast is served. Your roots crave pee. Most of your applied pee gets tied up in the soil, a natural phenomenon known as phosphorus fixation. Fix the problem with a Veil Phosphorus Fertilizer Enhancer. A Veil makes more pee available to your roots. Here, here, and here. Increasing pee availability can lead to increased pee uptake in the plant. That's more pee, more pee, and more pee. More phosphorus for your crop can mean more results in your bin. An average of 9.6 bushels per acre of corn. Breakfast is served. Supercharge your pee with a Veil. Welcome to the 30-second tour of your local poet plant. Local producers sell us tons of their grain. We grind it, mix it with water and special enzymes. The result is fermented, distilled, and dehydrated until it's 200 proof alcohol. Corn oil is extracted, and protein and nutrients are condensed, dried, and turned into animal feed, bringing our tour to an end with high protein feed and cleaner burning high octane fuel. Visit poet.com to learn more. One of the hottest topics in agriculture over the last three or four years has been cover crops. We're finding more and more farmers wanting to use cover crops, so today we'll talk a little about your options. All right, let's just say you're dismissing cover crops right off the bat. You say, they're going to suck up all the moisture in my field, and you know what? They're going to eat up all the fertilizer in my field too, and now I'm going to be worse off next year. How do you respond to that? Well, neither one of those is true, depending on the crop and depending on what you use that cover crop for. So there's a commonly used term, especially in the southern United States, it's called green manure. So people will use cover crops, then they'll plow it under or they'll kill it off. And the whole point is, what they're trying to do is take nutrients out of the soil and get them into a form that's maybe a little bit more readily available for a future crop. Because sometimes with these cover crops, we can have really deep roots on one crop. And because it's a little different type of crop, maybe it can extract nutrients that my corn or soybeans or wheat wouldn't normally be able to get. In terms of moisture, yeah, every crop's a little bit different. I mean, you'll see that when we come to our Weed of the Week. That's certainly different than most crops, but the point is if you pick the right cover crops, depending on your goals, you've got to look at what are my goals here with the cover crop. There's a mixture out there that you can find for just about any need. We'll get into some of these benefits of cover crops in just a second, but before we do, understand there's a downside too. So I'll just tell you my favorite cover crop story from a couple of years ago. I got asked to speak at this event in central Iowa, and I just told them before I showed up, hey, I'm going to speak to college FFA students. I want to do it in a field. So all I need is a corn field and a soybean field. Do that. Okay. So they said, no problem. You know, no big deal. I show up. They had no field for me. And I go, what do you mean? No field. I mean, you're in central Iowa. It's all corn and soybeans here. So I said, just give me a pickup. I'll go find a field. And within two or three miles, I found a farm wife. And so I just pulled over and asked her, hey, can we use this field real quick? And she said, oh yeah, no problem. No big deal. And she said, now, Brian, I got a question for you. Agronomy question. Why did my corn turn purple this year and I said well tell me what happened last year and she said well last year is the first year ever we couldn't raise a crop so our agronomist told us use a cover crop and I said hey that's a great idea so what did you use for a cover crop she said radishes and I go well what else do you use for cover crop she said that's it just radishes and right away I go oh I know what your problem is here's what happened to you radishes don't support mycorrhiza fungi growth. Because of the lack of mycorrhiza fungi on your farm right now or in this field, your corn turned purple because mycorrhiza fungi is what helps bring phosphorus, solubilize it, and bring it into the plant. Without that mycorrhiza fungi, it looks like you don't have phosphorus in the field. I'll bet you you got all kinds of phosphorus in the field. You just don't have enough fungi. So that's why we want a blend of different crops in the mix when we're doing a cover crop. So for example, if instead of just radishes, we would have put in some kind of grass crop or another crop that would support these mycorrhiza fungi. Along with fungi, it as a blend. Now we've got the benefit that that radish was providing, which is a deep root that can hopefully break up some compaction and provide some cover out on the ground to protect the soil. But 
but now we've also got that grass out there that could help with the mycorrhizae fungi. So next year's crop could really thrive. So what we usually do in our operation after wheat is we're going with a blend of soybeans, either turnips or radishes, along with something like wheat or oats. We just suggest you look at all the different advantages and see which cover crops fit to each one of those advantages that you really want in your operation. If you're looking for more information on cover crops, we suggest you go to the agphd.com website. Under the resources tab for agronomy resources, you'll find cover crops and their uses. And you can look at all these different benefits, whether it's for grazing, it's salinity tolerance, you name it. And then it lists which the best crops are for that particular need. And one of the big benefits of having a cover crop in your field is crop canopy helps protect against weeds that may be coming up later. One of the toughest weeds to control in our country is our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next. The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. sagebrush. Now, there are a lot of different types of sagebrush around the country, so we're just kind of lumping these all together. This is a major problem on grazing lands, a lot of non-crop ground around the country. And Darren, one of the things I found most interesting about sagebrush is a lot of these experts on, on grazing and rangeland, they say that, hey, the buffalo actually created a lot more sagebrush acres because the buffalo, what they would do is they'd overgraze in certain areas. Well, when they choke the grass out or eat the grass down to nothing, then the sagebrush takes off. Well, we see that so many times. Overgrazing leads to problems. And frankly, the last few years have been a big problem across our country. When we had the huge drought in 2012 yep. and succeeding years, it was just tremendous to sagebrush because as soon as there was no grass regrowth, there was nothing to stop the sagebrush from coming and it really took over. The problem for you, if you've got some sagebrush in your rangeland, is it takes about five times as much water as what the grass <laughs> right. does. So once you get sagebrush started, it's really tough for the grass to come back around it. We really need herbicides to control that sagebrush, otherwise it's just gonna continue to run rampant. All right, for many years, people were trying 2,4-D, high rates of 2,4-D. You can have some effect with that, but otherwise spike is the best product that we've found. When you're using spike, just understand it's got tremendous residual. So you can't be rotating back to most crops for a really long time. The half-life is something like 360 days. So when you decide, hey, I'm gonna get this sagebrush under control, I'm gonna use Spike, it's the best product I've got, just know that you're gonna have a lot of residual there. The other thing is it's not just a simple, hey, let's go spray the weed, kill the weed, and then go back to normal. No, you have to realize why you have a problem in the first place. You were overgrazing. So we need to make sure we get that grass growing up nicely. And what many times will be recommended is, okay, use the spike, but then don't graze that area of your rangeland until maybe some winter grazing, if anything. The next year, we wanna see that grass get up, full, healthy, and probably even go to seed right. before we start grazing again. And then at that point, uh, if everything's good and the sagebrush is under control, we can start going back to our normal program. But you have to watch this going forward. You can't overgraze areas or the sagebrush will be bad. Right, and by normal program, we mean rotational grazing, moving those cattle around so we don't ever overgraze. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week sagebrush, but Iron Talk is coming up next. Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The AFS Connect Farm Management System from Case IH connects you and only you to the information you need most from your equipment from anywhere at any time. AFS Connect, only from Case IH. The 
much of the country it's getting late for side dress or late season fertilizer applications, but if you still have time this year or are thinking about it for next year, there's one big consideration you should have. I'll discuss it in today's Iron Talk. There's some great equipment available for late application of fertilizer in crops. Also, plant tissue testing is getting more widely used all the time, so the awareness is growing of what nutrients our crop needs and what they may be short in. However, just because a crop is short in something and you can actually apply that nutrient to the field doesn't mean it will get into the plant in time to save your yield this year. Case in point, potassium fertilization. I got a call from a farmer this week who saw he was short in potassium and wanted to apply it around tassel time in corn. The problem is that he has heavy soils and no irrigation. The chances of the potassium getting into the crop are pretty slim. Nitrogen moves in the soil well and has been used in late season applications for a long time, but nutrients like potassium move very little. So yes, there are some great ways to get fertilizer out there for your crop later in the season. Just check with a knowledgeable agronomist about which types of fertilizer could actually help you this year. Otherwise, you may just have to take your lumps and fertilize this fall or next spring for the next crop. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show. Dirty work pays. That is if your dirty work includes a Soil Max Gold Digger tile plow. Soil Max tile plows feature zero deflection technology. With the only tile plow factory paired with Ag Leaders and Teleslope control system, you eliminate the need for grade calculations and lasers. So make your next investment in a Soil Max Gold Digger. Better yield, longer planting and harvest windows, better water management is all yours with Soil Max. Visit SoilMax.com. Farmer's attention to detail is what makes the difference. You take the time for service management because you know how vital it is to your operation. You service your field like everything else because soil sampling makes all the difference and gets the results you want. Download the app Soil Test Pro and start grid sampling today. Keep your farm growing strong. The more you test, the more you know. Could I boost my potential by foliar feeding? You can. Foliar feeding can correct nutrient deficiencies and sustain your crop through stress. It's a great way to deliver nutrients that your crop lacks to reach its full potential. Research proves it. Applied alone or in combination with your crop protection program, AgroLiquid products assure that when the season presents opportunity, you can boost your crop's yield potential by foliar feeding. For more info, visit agroliquid.com. Looking to maximize yield? Quick Roots from Monsanto BioAg is a microbial seed inoculant that allows the plant root to explore a greater volume of soil, the key to higher yields. Quick Roots continues to generate yield response on corn, soybeans, wheat, and more, and is applied to the seed so the live microorganisms go right to work enhancing seedling vigor, increasing the uptake of certain nutrients including NPK, and expanding root volume. Maximize yield on your farm this season. Get Quick Roots today. What if instead of running test plots on 10 acres, you could test on 10,000? With Farmers Business Network, the world becomes your plot trial. FBN is the independent farmer-to-farmer -farmer agronomic network. FBN connects real data from tens of thousands of fields and provides you trusted analysis on hundreds of seeds, practices, and field performance to maximize your profits. Find out how your field seeds and practices compare today by joining the FBN community at FarmersBusinessNetwork.com. Just $500 per year for unlimited acres. Where do you go to learn something new for your farm? Join us for the Ag PhD Field Day July 30th on the Hefty Family Farm near Baltic, South Dakota. You'll see and learn about new seed traits, brand new crop protection strategies, test drive the latest equipment, irrigation demonstrations, innovative fertilizer products, and more. Randy Dowdy, Dave Hula, Steve Albright, and others will have plots on our farm competing against us for top yields. If that's not enough, you can meet and hear from Coach Mike Ditka, Dr. Rob Fraley, and John Ratzenberger. Come to the Ag PhD Field Day July 30th. For details, visit agphd.com. Closed captioning for Ag PhD is sponsored by Norwood Sales. On your farm, you need speed and year-round effectiveness in your tillage program. The Quick Till from Norwood Sales allows you to move quickly through your fields, maximizing time and improving yield. Constructed of heavy-duty materials, the Quick Till is ideal for both spring and fall applications, from preparing a healthy seed bed early in the season to breaking up corn residue after harvest. For more information about how a quick till can improve fields in your farm, call Norwood Sales today. 
That's all the time we have for today's show, but if you're looking for more agronomic information, we invite you to tune in to the Ag PhD radio show each weekday at 2 p.m. Central on Sirius XM Channel 80. And don't miss the next Ag PhD TV show where we'll have another Weed of the Week Farm Basics Iron Talk and a whole lot more. I'm Darren Hefty. And I'm Brian Hefty. Thanks for watching Ag PhD. Crop residues from previous crops are highly beneficial to our soils and the environment. As residues break down naturally in the soil, they release nutrients for our future crops, but can also become organic matter in the soil. Visit rnmf.org to learn how farmers manage crop residue.